We are going over measures of spread. So I can summarize numeric data with numerical summaries such as median, measure of center, and the range, and then the interquartile range IQR measures of spread. So we are going to review how to find the median, and then I'm going to teach you how to find the lower quartile, also known as Q1, upper quartile, also known as Q3. I'm going to review range and then talk about how to find inner quartile range. So I'm going to do number one step by step. So I'm not just giving you a bunch of words and telling you what these things are and not really showing you. And then we'll do them all at once for the rest of the examples. So to find the median, we are going to order the numbers from least to greatest. Then we are going to cross off one on each side until you get to the middle. If there are two numbers in the middle, you are going to add them together and divide by two. All right, so let's find the median of number one. So I'm going to put them at least to greatest. And we are going to find the middle. So my median. is 26. All right, so we're going to talk about the next thing. The next thing is called lower quartile, also known as Q1. So to find the lower quartile, it is the median of the lower half of the data. Just like um, for the median, if there are two numbers, then you are going to add them together and divide by 2. So we are going to go to the lower quartile. That's right here. And then there's two of them, so we are going to do 12 plus 15, which is 27. And then we are going to divide 27 by 2. All right, so my Q1 is going to be 13. Point five. All right, to find my upper quartile, also known as Q3, it is the median of the upper half of data. If there are two numbers in the middle, you will add them and divide by 2. So if I go here, it's the median of that. So I'm going to add 34 and 42. So that's 76. I'm going to divide 76 by 2. So my Q. My Q3 is 38. All right, to reminder on how to find range, you are going to subtract the smallest data value from the largest. So that is just 
42 minus 12. So my range is 30. And then last is the inner quartile range. So that is just Q3 minus Q1. So that would be 38 minus 13.5. So IQR would be 24. Five. So that's all my values in my measure of spread. So I'm going to do that for the next five. So it may require a lot of calculation. This last one did because um, there was a lot where we had to add and divide by two. All right, so we are going to find the median. We're gonna put these in order from least to greatest. All right, so my median is 15. And then my Q1 is seven. My Q2 is 18. Oops. And then my range is eighteen. And then my IQR is going to be 18 minus 18 minus 7, which is 11. All right, number three, let's put this in least to greatest. All right, let's find the median. Five plus seven is twelve divided by two is six. So our median is six. And then at Q one is going to be two. Q three is going to be eleven. My range is going to be 13 minus 1, which is 12. And then my IQR is going to be 11 minus 2, which is 9. All right, number four, let's put it in least to greatest. Oops. 
Oops. Skip to in there, 27, 28, and 32, 35, 37, 43, 43. All right, find the median. Median is 35. Q1, it's going to be the middle of this, which is 28. Q3, 43. My range is going to be 43 minus 27. Sixteen, and then my IQR is going to be forty-three minus twenty-eight. Just fifteen. All right, number five, let's put us in least to greatest. Oops. All right, median is 88. Q1 is 84. Q3 is 93. Range is 97 minus 81. Which is 16, and then my IQR is 93 minus 84, which is 9. All right, last one. Put these in least to greatest. Find the median. Median is 69, Q1 is 64, Q3 is 76, range is 78 minus 62, which is 16, and then my IQR is 76 minus 64, which is 12.